Deep in the heart of Siberia, a vast wilderness stretches across the horizon. On June 30th, 1908, the skies above the Podkamenaya Tunguska River erupted in a blaze of blinding light. An explosion, thousands of times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb, transformed miles of forest into a wasteland. The impact flattened over 80 million trees, their trunks scattered like matchsticks. What could have unleashed such force? The answer remains one of modern history's enduring enigmas. The year 1908 dawned like any other in remote Siberia, but on that fateful June morning, the world changed forever. Seismic stations worldwide registered the tremors and the blast wave circled the planet twice. The skies above Europe and Asia glowed with an eerie light for several nights. What had transpired in Siberia? The questions lingered, their answers lost amidst the flattened trees. The explosion that ripped through the Siberian sky was unlike anything ever witnessed. Imagine the tranquil beauty of the taiga, the world's largest forest. Then, without warning, the sky erupted in a blinding flash of light. A fiery object streaked across the heavens, followed by a deafening roar. Trees snapped like twigs, and a shockwave flattened everything in its path. The tiger, once a symbol of nature's beauty, now bore the scars of unimaginable devastation. In the aftermath of the explosion, a strange silence descended upon the tiger. The air, thick with smoke, seemed to hum with unseen energy. The Evenki people, nomadic reindeer herders, were among the first to witness the aftermath. Their tents flattened, reindeer scattered. They believed the spirits of the forest were angered. The tiger, wounded but resilient, began the slow process of healing. Despite the remoteness of Tunguska, the explosion's echoes reverberated far beyond Siberia. Seismic stations in Europe and Asia recorded the Earth's shuddering response. Dust and debris spread across the northern hemisphere, creating an eerie glow in the night sky. Theories abounded, but none could fully explain the phenomenon. The world had witnessed an event of extraordinary power, yet its cause remained a mystery. The Tunguska event, though in a sparsely populated region, had witnesses. The Evenki people's lives were altered on that fateful June morning. One account comes from an Evenki hunter named Semenov. He described a blinding light, intense heat, and a deafening roar. When the shaking subsided, he emerged to find the landscape transformed into utter devastation. Over 40 miles from the epicenter, in Vanavara, residents were oblivious to the cosmic drama. Suddenly, the sky erupted in a blinding flash of light. A deafening roar shook the trading post and a wave of intense heat followed. Buildings trembled, windows shattered and people were thrown to the ground. It was a day when time seemed to stand still and the world vanished in a flash of light. For the Evenki people, the tiger was a living entity, home to spirits. Shamans, revered as intermediaries, guided the community. One shaman, Ivan Petrov, claimed to have had a premonition of the Tunguska event. He spoke of a fiery demon banished from the heavens, seeking to punish humanity. In the aftermath, Petrov's status was elevated to that of a prophet, a reminder of the deep spiritual connection between the Evenki and their land. Decades after the Tunguska event, the mystery refused to be ignored. In the 1920s, Leonid Kulik, a meteorite expert, resolved to uncover the secrets of Tunguska. Securing funding was a challenge, but Kulik succeeded. In 1927, armed with rudimentary equipment, Kulik set off into the Siberian wilderness. 
Their journey would take them deep into the taiga where they would face the awe-inspiring power of nature. The journey to the Tunguska epicenter was fraught with challenges. The vast Siberian taiga, a seemingly endless expanse of forests, swamps and rivers, tested the limits of human endurance. Kulik and his team, traveling by foot, horseback and reindeer-drawn sledges, battled unforgiving terrain, swarms of biting insects and the ever-present threat of wild animals. For weeks they navigated dense undergrowth, their progress slowed by fallen trees and treacherous bogs. The air, thick with humidity, carried the scent of pine needles and damp earth, a constant reminder of the untamed wilderness that surrounded them. At night they huddled around crackling fires, their faces illuminated by the flickering flames, sharing stories and speculating about what they might find at the journey's end. As they drew closer to the epicenter, the landscape underwent a dramatic transformation. The once dense forest thinned, replaced by a desolate wasteland of scorched earth and fallen trees. The air, heavy with silence, carried a faint metallic tang, a lingering reminder of the cataclysmic event that had transpired two decades earlier. Finally, after months of arduous travel, Kulik and his team reached their destination, the heart of the Tunguska Blast Zone. What they found there would forever alter their understanding of the event and challenge their preconceived notions about the power of nature. The scene that greeted Kulik and his team at the Tunguska epicenter was both awe-inspiring and bewildering. Imagine, if you will, a forest of giants, once reaching for the sky, now lying prostrate, their massive trunks stripped bare and pointing radially outwards from a central point. The ground, littered with fallen branches and shattered treetops, resembled a battlefield where nature itself had waged war. For miles in every direction the trees had been flattened, their tops pointing away from the epicenter like arrows on a giant compass. The sheer scale of the destruction was staggering, a testament to the unimaginable force that had been unleashed upon the tiger. Yet, amidst the devastation, there was a strange and unsettling absence, a lack of an impact crater. Kulik, who had expected to find a massive crater, perhaps even fragments of the meteorite he believed had caused the event, was baffled. Where was the evidence of the impact? Had the meteorite disintegrated in the atmosphere before reaching the ground? Or could there be another, more perplexing explanation? Undeterred, Kulik and his team fanned out across the blast zone, meticulously documenting their findings. They measured the direction and angle of the fallen trees, collected soil and vegetation samples, and searched for any sign of the elusive impactor. Their efforts, though hindered by the challenging terrain and the passage of time, would lay the groundwork for future scientific investigations and fuel decades of speculation about the true nature of the Tunguska event. From the moment the echoes of the Tunguska event reached the scientific community, speculation ran rampant. What unimaginable force could have leveled hundreds of square miles of Siberian forest, leaving no trace of its origin? The most prevalent theory pointed towards a cosmic culprit, a meteoroid or comet colliding with Earth. Meteoroids, those celestial wanderers, have long been a source of both fascination and fear. These remnants of the early solar system hurtle through space at incredible speeds. Upon entering the atmosphere, friction generates intense heat, causing the meteoroid to glow brightly. Comets those dirty snowballs of the cosmos offer another potential explanation, composed of ice, dust and rocky debris. Comets are often described as cosmic time capsules. As they approach the sun, solar radiation vaporizes their icy surfaces, creating characteristic tails. A cometary impact could explain the devastation witnessed in Tunguska. The impact hypothesis faced a significant challenge, the absence of a crater. If a massive object had collided with Earth, where was the telltale scar? 
This discrepancy fueled decades of debate, leading some to propose alternative explanations for the Tunguska event. The absence of an impact crater at Tunguska led scientists to consider an airburst scenario. The object, a meteoroid or comet, exploded in the atmosphere before reaching the ground. This detonation released energy, generating a shockwave that flattened trees and scorched the earth. The airburst hypothesis gained credence as scientists studied high-speed impacts. Objects entering the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds encounter immense pressure and friction. This stress can cause the object to fragment or explode before reaching the ground. The airburst hypothesis explained the lack of an impact crater at Tunguska. The explosion high above the ground vaporized the object, scattering its remnants as fine dust. The shockwave flattened trees in a radial pattern, creating the observed devastation. The airburst scenario aligned with eyewitness accounts of a bright object and a deafening explosion. The object's fiery passage and detonation created the blinding light and thunderous roar reported by witnesses. While the airburst hypothesis explained much of the Tunguska event, some researchers remained unconvinced. The scale of the devastation and anomalies at the site hinted at extraordinary events challenging conventional science. Theories ranged from antimatter annihilation to extraterrestrial spacecraft. Astrophysicist Wolfgang Kunt suggested a natural gas release from Earth's crust. Methane ignited in the atmosphere, causing the explosion. Another theory involved a miniature black hole colliding with Earth. The notion of a miniature black hole remains controversial. Some suggest the Tunguska event was caused by an alien spacecraft explosion. Others propose it was an extraterrestrial weapon test. Despite decades of research, the Tunguska event remains a mystery. Where are the remnants of the object that caused the explosion? No definitive meteorite fragments have been found, fueling speculation. Some suggest a cometary nucleus which would vaporize upon impact. Others propose the object fragmented into tiny pieces. Elevated levels of iridium in soil samples support a cosmic origin. The mystery of the missing meteorite adds to the allure of the Tunguska event. Even today, it challenges our understanding of the universe. The Tunguska event, a celestial enigma that has captivated the world for over a century, continues to be a subject of intense scientific scrutiny. Despite the passage of time and the inherent challenges of studying an event so remote and shrouded in mystery, researchers have made significant strides in unravelling the secrets of the Siberian explosion. Advances in technology, particularly in the fields of geophysics, atmospheric science and planetary science, have provided researchers with powerful tools to re-examine the evidence and refine existing theories. Sophisticated computer simulations, capable of modelling the dynamics of asteroid and comet impacts, have allowed scientists to test various scenarios and assess their plausibility. One notable study conducted by a team of Italian researchers in 2007 used acoustic and seismic data to recreate the shockwave generated by the Tunguska event. Their findings supported the airburst hypothesis, suggesting that the explosion occurred at an altitude of approximately 5 to 8 kilometers above the ground. The study also estimated the energy released by the explosion to be equivalent to 10 to 15 megatons of TNT, consistent with previous estimates. Furthermore, the development of advanced imaging techniques such as ground-penetrating radar and aerial LIDAR surveys has enabled researchers to map the Tunguska blast zone in unprecedented detail. These surveys have revealed subtle topographical features and variations in vegetation density that provide further clues about the nature and direction of the explosion. The Tunguska event, shrouded in mystery, has become a fixture in popular culture. From books and films to video games, the Siberian explosion has inspired awe and wonder. M.P. Shields' The Purple Cloud, published in 1901, was an early influential work. The novel's themes of cosmic indifference and human vulnerability resonated with readers. 
The Tunguska event became a staple of science fiction, exploring alien invasion and conspiracies. The Tunguska event, a distant echo from the past, holds profound lessons for humanity. It reminds us of our planet's vulnerability to cosmic hazards and the need for robust defense strategies. The 1908 event, though in a remote area, could have been catastrophic over a city. The energy released was thousands of times greater than the Hiroshima bomb. Early detection and tracking of hazardous asteroids are crucial. The sooner we identify threats, the more time we have to develop mitigation strategies. Space agencies have made progress in identifying near-Earth objects, or NEOs. However, much work remains to be done. Thousands of potentially hazardous NEOs are yet to be discovered. The Tunguska event offers a humbling cosmic perspective. It reminds us that we live on a small, fragile planet in a vast universe. We must acknowledge the limits of our knowledge and the possibility of the unknown. More than a century after the tiger erupted in a fiery inferno, the Tunguska event continues to captivate and mystify us. It stands as a stark reminder of the immense forces at play in our universe, forces that can reshape landscapes and shatter assumptions. What cosmic wanderer left its fiery signature on that Siberian summer day? The Tunguska event serves as a cosmic mirror, reflecting both our scientific progress and the limits of our understanding. We have mapped the blast zone, analyzed the evidence and proposed theories, yet the definitive answer remains elusive. Was it a meteoroid, a comet or something more extraordinary? The debate continues, fueled by the lack of a definitive impact crater and substantial meteorite fragments. Some argue this absence strengthens the case for an airburst, a cosmic explosion that vaporized the intruder. Others point to anomalous readings and unexplained phenomena as evidence of something beyond our current grasp. Perhaps the true legacy of Tunguska lies in the questions it continues to pose. It compels us to look beyond our terrestrial sphere to acknowledge the vastness and unpredictability of the cosmos. It reminds us that for all our scientific advancements, there will always be mysteries that elude our grasp. In that space of uncertainty, we find a renewed appreciation for the fragility of our existence and the enduring power of the cosmos. Please like, share and subscribe for more intriguing content.